and we're back. And there we are, awake. Took our nap. It's uh, Wednesday at uh, eight o'clock. Wait, yeah, eight o'clock. <coughs> we're on our way to Little France with a load of. Oh, how soon they forget. Um, ice cream. Turn the lights. faster than that. So under our under our self-imposed <coughs> cruise control. Our self-imposed uh, limiting See how this works. We'll try this for the next couple videos. See if there's any comments on it. Uh, then uh, we'll try chopping the chopping the bejeebers out of the video. Just cut out sections of the uh, sections of silence. doing? this game also is, is is crossing the border as easy as it is in real life I mean in the game you just drive across the border no border checks no passport control no it's just like driving into another county or state or uh, whatever the European equivalent is of crossing lines within a within a country region.
the only place it seemed to come across anything is kind of a kind of a passport control or whatever's when you're going into Russia. Going in or out. But that won't be happening in this particular series because we don't have the that mods. As I discovered with with uh, external contracts don't work don't work with map mods because they don't you can get a job going someplace in the modded map or in the area of the map mod or what your whatever but you can't complete your delivery. I mean, you can get a load going. You can get a load going to Russia because it's in the game. But you can't ever offload your load because it never it doesn't synchronize with the maps that they have for the servers on World of Trucks. I mean, it'll do it in the game your game, but once it goes to synchronize with the uh, World of Trucks server, it doesn't recognize your location and resets you, and I kind of found that out, more or less, I did a long drive somewhere and uh, it never recognized my uh, delivery. And it kept resyncing and putting me back to the last place I was. So I drove around and I don't know, I tried like four or five times to offload my cargo and just could never do it. So I just kind of gave up at that point on that particular drive and started checking around and reading forums and different odds and ends and found out that it was a, you know, that's just the way it is. And that's what happened on this, on my drive going to Clagan, Clagan, Clagan Ford, Clagan Ford, Clagan Ford. Up there in Sweden, anyway, uh, because I had the ferry mod pack on that had a ferry running from Rostock to Klagen. Was it Klagenford? Klagenford? Klagen? Some? But that was a mod, so the server didn't recognize trying to take the ferry from Rostock to there and like, take the ferry to someplace else but you couldn't take that one. Oops. So what else is going on? Well, still moving. Not moving at a huge pace. Going or going to town twice a week to pick up stuff. Not renting a truck or anything. There's just not not really enough sense in it yet. We have some stuff set up. Need to get some other. Need to get 
other furniture in here before I can actually bring other stuff. What is that? Oh. fast cars trucks it just did it doesn't really make a lot of noise let's do anything at a time here. Okay. Cruise control. might be uh, I don't know first video of this drive is 20 minutes we're up to 13 already We've still got five hours to go I don't think we're going to cover five hours and seven minutes. Well, we'll see where we're at the half hour mark. I'm trying to try. Well, yeah, I'm sitting here being quiet while I'm trying to mentally drive and also figure out.
worry about that right in the moment. Well, it's always kind of scary going around these. truck starts to bounce a little bit you don't know whether it's gonna yeah cuz it's taking like two minutes yeah not quite two minutes per hour so we got another ten minutes or so of driving 15 minutes maybe depending on traffic Get off here, I don't think, but it's not okay. Uh, hopefully, I can stay on the main line here. Okay, all right, so let's get over in the right lane. Right lane. You see semis move over up here. I'm wondering if this lane is running out. Because sometimes they move over way ahead of
this one either. Something I thought they were going to bring into this game that they put into American Truck Simulator was the uh, random road encounters, I guess would be the... Yeah, that's what I had... What I had understood. I may have read it wrong, but... I thought they were doing it for both games. Or maybe it's just upcoming. Uh, Little Brussels. So I need to get over again. Yeah, you and your big supercar are just... Uh, anyway, that's where they, if, if you watch videos on American Truck Simulator, they do, uh, you drive down the road and there'll be like, oh, a police stop or a, a car sitting on the side of the road with the hood up, uh, a damaged truck, damaged car, uh, various pieces of road work. something kind of like this, but I think this is more not really random.
and trying to keep the video somewhat or well family friendly I could be spewing a whole bunch of non-family friendly words when cars do things like that separate video we have to do a separate screenshot I can't use the same screenshot for whoa I can't drive either suddenly turning here. discovered this.
into the industrial area. Fifteen points, park it there, park it there, we'll park it there. Oh we'll attempt to park it there. Okay, four way flashers, that always makes parking easier. Okay. And this is how far. truck around. Okay. So. Put into backwards here. And turn on the backup camera. Set the brake and decouple our trailer. And there we are, job complete. Excellent. Ice cream delivered from Chetien to Little uh, France. 1,035 kilometers, one hour. Fuel consumed, 460.6 liters. Our 39th World of Trucks contract completed. We got our base reward. We got a proficiency bonus. We got a long distance delivery bonus. And we got a bonus for parking the trailer. We made 30,246 euros and 1,383 experience points. Well, there it is. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember, thumbs up. Um, subscribe. Uh, press the little bell there up there in the corner or whatever to 
<clears throat> let you know when I put new stuff on. Comments, greatly appreciated. What do you think? What do you want to see? Uh, again, with the... Do we cut the videos? Do we shorten them up? Do we make several small videos? Or do we keep one long video and then just hack pieces out of it? Let me know what you think. I'm kind of, kind of at a loss, really. So, again, I hope you enjoyed the trip. I thank you for watching, and that's going to be the end of this particular video.